Um, so I know you've been doing a lot of speed dating today. I'd like to throw in at least one or two new questions. Let's start with this one. Uh, for each of you, I'm curious if you remember your first movie or TV show crush. Oh, Aaron Gray. Aaron Gray, uh, Buck Rogers. Oh. That was my, she was my first uh, crush. I think, I think like when I was of age to have an actual crush, uh, it would definitely was Aaron Gray. And then before that, uh, when I was a younger kid and I didn't understand why I, what was happening, but I, I, I always liked, um, Eve Plum. Oh, Eve Plum. Yep. Yep. Sure. But like in my formative years, Aaron Gray. Yeah. I didn't see that coming, Keegan. <laughs> <laughs> the Eve Plum? You didn't see the Eve Plum coming? No. See that coming. Um, mine is very easy. It's Maxwell Caulfield from Greece too. I felt uh -huh. I mean, obviously, still my hair every day is a tribute to him. Um, but yeah, I like that was the first time that I was like, I think I'm in love with a man. Um, was Maxwell Caulfield? Got it. Uh, do you each have a TV series that you would love to guest star on? Uh, yeah, if I could, yes. I if if there was a role for me in The Crown, I would do it. I don't think there is and I don't think I could really nail that accent but like that's one of those shows that like you watch and you're like that's just brilliant like I would do anything on that show yeah a any show Stephen any show yeah I I've pretty much yeah any show yeah. um are you gonna go back I was gonna go back like god I would have loved to have played um Round about the fourth season of The Wire. Oh, Anybody in the fourth, is the fourth season, the schools, the uh, season, I think, the yeah. doctor, the first, the fourth season is the schools. Like if I could have played one of those teachers, beleaguered teachers, who's trying to help the kids, that would have been fun. Um, other than that, it would be, it would be, um, you know, th th yeah, I would like to have played one of like a. That would have been a wonderful, like, dramatic turn. That's something I would have dug doing. That's a really good one. That's a yeah. very good one. Jumping into why I get to talk to you guys today. Uh, Andrew, I'm going to start with an individual question for you. Uh, Ryan gave you great roles in this and Boys in the Band. What kind of thank you card do you actually mail him uh, as a, you know what I mean? Or what do you get him as a gift for giving you two great roles? It's very tricky. It's very tricky because he's a man who has everything. Um, but the great thing about Ryan is that Ryan also makes himself accessible to you when you're working with him. So I, um, I have gushed to him in person. I have gushed to him via email and text. Um, I uh, have regularly told him how grateful I am to him for giving me these opportunities. So he, um, he's just a, I don't know. I just, I, I, I met him sort of early on in my career and I, I feel um, very grateful to have met him and uh, Keegan and I have been talking a lot about this today that he's one of the few folks that I've met in Hollywood who is actually they're actually like a person of their word um, when he says he's going to do something he does it um, and it's really uh, inspiring to get to work with someone who is has that kind of conviction and has a clarity of vision about what he the stories he wants to tell and who he wants to be in them. And um, I just I can't say enough good about that guy. He's a hundred percent, hundred percent. Keegan, my individual question for you is: so um, obviously this this cast is amazing. Uh, you had a number of scenes uh, with Meryl, which is you know, amazing. Um, what did you actually pay to be in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> I paid. I paid in bearer bonds. So it was. <laughs> um, it, you know, it's such an amazing experience um, to work with somebody that accomplished, and and to see how she works with such a hum with such humility, and which I guess. I guess sometimes the greatest, that's what they do. They, there's a humility. They sit under the knowledge of, of the story. And that's and she, she does everything she can to make the story come to life. And, and I, I'm just really so much looking forward to seeing, to, to seeing how people respond to this, this piece of entertainment. Because it's, uh, it's well, just I, a 
started rehearsals, like the the biggest sort of like, uh, uh, you know, uh, thing that I was sort of floored by. And I was so nervous, obviously, to work with Meryl and Nicole and like walk into a set with them. But they both sort of dug in in a really sort of cooperative, you know, collaborative. Like, we're just part of a company and we rehearsed it like it was a Broadway musical. So we had a very traditional sort of rehearsal process. Um, but that's what I was so blown away by, by both of them was that they really did just like want to do the work. And I don't know what I was expecting, but um, it was really incredible to just get to be with them and just rehearsing and trying things and, you know, having some laughs. Like they were, they're in, both incredible. Uh, I already got to go, had a million other questions. I'm just again, going to say you guys did such a great job. Uh, I know people are going to love it. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks so much.